What's up? How are you guys today? I'm sure all of you have heard about many different types of electrolyte supplements. I think one popular one recently is called Liquid IV. And my opinion of these supplements has been the same since the videos I've done three or four years ago now. They are all synthetic laboratory chemicals that do not occur in the correct ratios for what our body actually needs. And when we say electrolytes, what we mean is sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Maybe more recently now, these electrolyte supplements have included all of these, still not in the correct ratios, but before that, it was only really sodium and potassium, so they were just way off the mark. And if you are eating high quality organic foods, you really don't need this, but we'll go over a few tips today to optimize your electrolyte intake if you think that is something that is causing problems in your current lifestyle or exercise routine. So salt is commonly over or underdone. People either are putting way too much salt on their food or they're doing some crazy stuff with no salt and it's not working. You have to find the happy medium. The ratio is usually one part sodium to one part potassium. That's what's good for the average person. Now the standard American diet has too much sodium, but not because it's a high amount of salt. It's because the amounts of the other corresponding electrolytes are too low. You want fresh foods in there that contain lots of potassium to balance it out and you'll be good to go if you salt to taste. We have a very high quality Bolivian Rose Mountain Salt available on Frankie's Free Range Meat as well as Frankie's Free Range Foods.com. Kind of want to avoid sea salts because they can be polluted. So just a high quality land mineral salt is going to get you plenty of sodium and you know, sometimes people try to say that these salts have other minerals in them, but it's really insignificant amounts. Moving on to potassium, which is, as we said, deficient on the standard American diet. However, the keto people, different electrolyte supplements are usually loaded with potassium, but people usually needed the other electrolytes, not potassium specifically. If you really think you need it, meat, potatoes, rice, Basically any whole or fresh food is going to have so much potassium in it that if you didn't salt those foods, you'd actually have too much potassium just from eating your normal diet, let alone adding a supplement on top of that. If you really, really want to try increasing potassium intake and seeing how you feel, coconut water is probably one of the best bets. And coconut water also has an excellent amount of magnesium, sodium, some calcium, but it's really just a very high amount of potassium. Uh, we do have the brown rice crisp bar on Frankie's Strange Foods, which is, I mean, insanely high in potassium because it's made with dried banana, which is lower in anti-nutrients. Regular banana, not so great for the gut, has brown rice in it, which is, again, very high in potassium. Just the overall ingredients in that bar product. is It's an excellent example of whole foods containing incredible amounts of potassium and really being the only good option. Magnesium is definitely the biggest culprit as in people really need it. They're deficient in it when they are having electrolyte issues. This is what I would point to first. It's imbalanced from toxicity of other minerals, mainly too much calcium, sometimes too much sodium, sometimes too much potassium is depleting people's magnesium stores and they're not taking nearly enough magnesium. It's the only supplement that I really consider 100% necessary. You know, you need to take two, three, 400 milligrams a day minimum, a very frequent high dosage of magnesium to gauge how you feel. It's depleted in soils, it's not contained high enough in foods, and the foods that do contain magnesium usually have very high corresponding amounts of other minerals like potassium and sodium. So if you really wanna balance things out, you have to isolate magnesium. The only way to do that is you know, using a supplement like the magnesium glycinate or magnesium oil that we have on organsupplements.com. I wish I could tell you guys to have, you know, high quality organic chocolate, do this, do that, but it's just not the real solution. Calcium, I mean, we've done so many videos on calcium. I've always been very against calcium and I've never really flip-flopped on that. I mean, I've never really flip-flopped on anything, but calcium is one thing I've been very, very adamant against without changing my mind on. That's because, especially considering the standard American diet, people's dairy intakes, their lack of sunlight, vitamin D, people are really calcium toxic. And the only way to really undo that is to take large amounts of magnesium over long periods of time, probably at least years 
for the average person to balance out their calcium stores in their body. If you really think you need calcium, which is unlikely unless you've been following like a meat only carnivore diet for five, six, seven years like I was, you can try a, a high calcium mineral water like Gerol Steiner. So I've given you guys options and solutions if you really think electrolytes are your issue. And when people have liver damage on keto, when they're not feeling good on certain diets, when they're having issues, usually the first thing that's brought up is electrolytes and it doesn't fix the issue because in my opinion, for the most part, this is never really the actual problem. The quality of the foods you're eating, getting enough sleep, grounding, reducing radiation, those are almost always above this. However, I'm an open-minded person. I like getting people to learn and understand things. So if you really want to try a true, natural, high-quality source of electrolytes to troubleshoot your issues. You have the salts for sodium. You have high-quality whole foods for potassium. You have supplements for magnesium. And there's no way you would ever need calcium. But if for some reason your skull is really thick, drink some Gerol Steiner water and you won't sleep for three days because it will calcify your brain. Uh, you guys can check out frank-stefano.com if you'd like to support me through all my businesses or just read about all of these interesting things I have and you can learn a little more about that. We do have a bunch of electrolyte videos we did years ago. If you just search Frank Tefano electrolytes, you'll probably learn more as well. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I guess one last thing maybe I should touch on is that vegetables, nuts, if you Google like high electrolyte foods, high magnesium foods, high calcium foods, those minerals in, in those foods are not only bound to anti-nutrients and have a very low bioavailability, it's the issue I said earlier. They have high amounts of the other corresponding minerals. So you're not actually getting a lot of magnesium. You're not actually getting a lot of calcium. Thanks again for joining guys and I'll see you for the next video.